What is going on everybody, how are we all doing and welcome back today to another episode of the original Red's Glory on FIFA 17 and it's that time of the week once again we have got our foot champions reward packs to be opening up. I didn't actually think I'd be playing that much this weekend or the weekend just gone but I managed to get to gold 2 once again. Just scraped it this time with 21 wins which I was really pleased with because we, uh, we had to play something like 25 of the games on Friday which is... Which was ludicrous to be completely honest with you. But as always, if you do enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. Always massively appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. Of course, if you followed this series from the start, you'll know our Foot Champions packs have been disgracefully bad. We actually had a better week than normal last week because we got one big flare. That, that, that's an improvement on, on the pack look. That's how bad it's been. But before we do open those up, I've got a couple of things to show you around. Firstly, SBC Suarez. We are closing in on him. However... I do want to also do this Cavani. The coins that we get today will allow us to do that. So we will be doing that in today's episode as well. We'll be unlocking, unlocking Cavani. But Suarez progress. It's coming along strong. We've now only got to buy um, eight more players. But the trouble is they're all expensive players. You can see this is the formula that I've gone for for the uh, Barcelona. We still need to buy Busquets. We still need to buy the Rakitic. We need to buy PK and Iniesta. And then Real Madrid is a very similar story. I think there again, we only need to buy four players. But again, they're just expensive players. It's Benzema, Modric, Tony Cruz and Pepe. But um, anything that we can get in today's packs will help. But like I said, we're going to be doing the Cavani milestone uh, SBC today as well. So we'll unlock him. He's a potential strike partner in the future. Four swearers. And he's someone that I do want to try out and use in this weekend league. This weekend coming up hopefully. So, um... The other thing I want to show you, in fact, there's two things really. We'll, we'll do the transfer list first. Again, I, I always show the transfer list. I, I do bronze pack method a lot. I do the SBCs. We saw this guy because the MLS thing was out the other day for the foot champions. And we got 1,500 points for him. But just general sales really. Nothing too exciting. There's a couple of Barcelona players in there when I was messing around with the formula for trying to do the... Um, the Suarez SBC, but nothing too exciting. We're going to clear all that out. And what I'm actually going to do now is going to go into Foot Champions and also show you something that I'm very, very excited about. So here it is. As you can see, lads, we've finished Gold 2 for the Foot Champions Weekend League. Just going to already mention that. As always, I mean, we get Gold 2 quite quite a lot. We get rare, one rare gold pack, we get two rare mega packs, and we get 45k. The 45k is more than enough to complete the Cavani SBC. But I also want to show you, I don't think it's going to have reset just yet, but... If we go on to monthly, you can see we actually picked up 91 wins, which is enough for gold monthly, which is what our aim was at the start of this month. So we will be getting next week, I imagine, three red gold, uh, three red gold um, informs from the month of just gone, which I'm really excited about for this series. The bummer is that we're only six wins off of Elite, so that's something we can definitely aim for in the future. We can get Elite, that would be incredible. But um, 91, I am very, very happy with, and. Um, like I said, if we can build on that, it will be amazing. But I'm just really hyped now to get those red reward cards. There's been so many good informers this last month. I mean, just this week now, we've got these incredible... I mean, you can't get these in the for the, uh, for the monthly rewards, obviously. But for the packs that are opening now, you've got some incredible man of the matches. We've got an incredible team of the week as well. I mean, Lewandowski, that Nigona looks incredible. Fabregas, Gnabry I would take. I loved his inform before. If we can get him, that would be awesome. And also the Nabi Keita I reviewed, he was absolutely amazing as well. So I wouldn't say no to him. But what we're going to do is we're going to open up these packs. I'm then going to go away for a bit, complete the Edison Cavani SPC. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow, so you'll probably see a change of clothes in between this part and the next part. But we're going to uh, open up these packs now. Rare gold pack. If we get anything good, it will be a, a change, to be honest. Oh, no! We get an inform! We've got... No! Oh, God, it's a sick ball! We got an informed guy, I'm sure it goes for like a lot of coins. I got super excited things. I thought it was Nabi Kaiser. Are they from the same nation? I, I don't even know, but we've actually hit something big on this series. It's about goddamn time. How much just gotta go for? I am so happy with that. Please tell me he's over 100k. Oh my god, please, please, please. <gasps> Yes, Suarez, lads, is coming sooner rather than later. That is an absolutely huge pull. Some people might say keep him or we're going for a, you know, he's a quality looking card, which he is. It's an 84. He's an incredible looking card, but that is finally a sick pack pull for this series. We're going to store him to the club for now, but we will be selling him definitely. Oh, we get Mario Gaspar, or whatever we get now. I don't even care. We've got some squad fitnesses. That is absolutely awesome, lads. We might even be able to do Suarez today. But it would mean sacrificing Cavani. We'll have to wait and see. We've got two rare mega packs to open now. Surely we can't get better than that one just. We've got the guy. We get a big flare again. Where is this pack up coming from? It's going to be Sebastic. I think he recently had an upgrade to an 84. Not bad. Well, it's pretty average. But after that pack ball we just had, it's pretty fucking average. My God, I'm hyped. we got Fonte. we got Guardado. Alves. Huth. Uh, we also get Masonder in now. I swear to God, I pack Masonder every single time. we got upgraded Gale. 
We got Harry Archer. I think that's an upgraded Archer as well. And we get some squad fitnesses that are always very, very useful. I am just hyped though after that that pack pull of guy. That is incredible. Wow. We got a draft token. I, that is unbelievable. We actually get a draft token. That means we'll also be doing a draft on this account sometime soon as well. So let me know if you want to see that as a special episode. The pack look right now. Where's this coming from? And last but not least, a draft token in one. Guy in another. Surely it can't be good again. It's going to be small flares. But you know what? I do not give a damn. Our pack look. You get Casemiro. You know what? He's useful for the SBC that we're doing. I think I've already bought him once. We'll be able to sell him on and use this pack pulled one for the extra loyalty. But we also get uh, Benteke. Oh, that is absolutely awesome. The pack look finally comes good. Hopefully that doesn't hinder us in the red monthly ones. But, um, oh my god, let's. I'm going to cut now. Because I'm potentially now about to do the Suarez SBC. We'll have to see. So, lads, this is now a couple of hours on from when you've last seen me opening up the packs from the, the Weekend League, of course. We got that informed guy. Still so, so happy about that. And I had a bit of an executive decision to make because... Unfortunately, the price of the Suarez SBC had crept up a little bit. The players, for, for whatever reason, shot up. I did manage to complete Barcelona, so we've now only got Real Madrid to do. However, it's going to cost about 130-140k for these last four players, I think, which is far more than I expected it to be. So it's just a little bit, well, it's quite a bit out of our reach right now. We're about 100k shy, but that's because... I actually completed the Cavani SBC. I, I, I was going to record the... Well, I have recorded all the packs and everything, but the packs were absolutely pants from it. So I decided, I think I'm not going to show you those, but I will show you the new team that we put together with this Cavani. So we've changed it up a little bit. We've still got the same base of the team, if you like. We've got De Stegen, Man of the Match, Herbides, Varane, Tremolinas and Piszczek. They're all exactly the same that the team was before. We've still got the Informer Bora on the left, Guilla Vogue, Innocent and Goretzka on the right. There's a slight change there in the fact that now Ibor is on full chemistry and Guilla Vogue is on 7 or 8 chem. 7 I believe, which it was the other way around before basically. That's fine with me. I, I don't mind that personally. But the front three has changed completely. We've traded out the regular Dembele and got the upgraded one. It's cost me 5k. I did sell the other one for 1.1k, so I suppose you could say really it's cost me 3.9k, which I don't think is too bad. He's got some crazy upgrades on his uh, regular card. I was ifing and uh, umming and ahhing about it, but I decided to just go for it take the plunge. On the left-hand side, we have got the PSG version of uh, Hesse Rodriguez. Not used him before this year, but he's got some nice stats. 4-star, four 4-star, four star, 86 pace, decent shooting and dribbling as well. And then leading the line with the Hawk chemistry style that I've decided to put on him that we had in our club, we have got the SBC Cavani. Now, I wasn't going to play some games still tomorrow, but I'm actually really hyped to try out this team. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to play a couple of games now in Division 4, because I can't remember the last time that I did like some live com, just Divisions matches on this series. So we're going to do that now. I think we're going to take this team into Division 4, play a couple of games, and just give it a bit of a test ahead of the weekend league. So you can see, by the way, I've not shown you any seasons game play for a while, but we've currently played three and won three in Division 4, so it's going quite well. I keep on using, using it, playing the one-odd game just as a bit of a testing ground as teams, but I'm not really showing you that on this series for a while, which is why, like I say, I'm going to do that today. But we're going to jump into our first game now. I'm going to leave the instructions exactly as they were before. I'm actually really pleased with this team. When you look at it, it's a three-league hybrid. There's only one player off of Kem, that being Guilla Vogue. And I just think it looks like a really solid team, so hopefully it can perform well. Here we go then, lads. Here's the game that we found. It's a very, very nice team. He's got the unupgraded Dembele, interestingly. He's got a Bamiyang, Player of the Month, Son, Kante, the unupgraded version as well. Just a generally nice team. I'm hoping this isn't going to be laggy, because season sometimes, for some reason, seems a little bit laggy right now for me. And Foot Champions is, of course, on dedicated servers. That's very, very smooth. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a decent test. He's got a strong team. Hopefully, we can pick up the win. Oh, good save to Stegen. Get rid. Oh, the lag. It just about goes over the bar. Great save to Stegen. Really good keep on this game. Really rate him. Just about got the job done there. Oh, just that's going to be too much of him there, I think. Although we could be in a bit of trouble here. It's Dembele again. He's cut it back for the sweat. Oh, to Stegen. What a save. That is a gain. Well played. Dembele. Back to Hesse. Look at that run. Cavani, you're in. You're in. Please. Yes, that is exactly what we want from Edison Cavani. First real chance we've had in this game and he's put it away. That's what you want from the man. To be clinical when he gets in front of goal and that's exactly what it was. It was a nice little bit of RT, LT dribbling and then when he gets it on goal, just puts it into the corner and we take a 1-0 lead. Well, there's half time, lads. I think this is going to be the only game I'm playing today's episode. I was going to do a couple, but it does feel a little bit heavy like I was talking about in the, um, in the uh, team screen. We've um, we won the lot. We've had three shots. This guy's two. He's been very, very unlucky though. Stegen's bailed us out a couple of times with some really decent saves. But Cavani, he's been exactly what we want from him so far. Clinical and the team does feel like it's playing pretty well. Willavogi, great tackle. 
Look at Dembele's run. Can we pick him out? It's not a bad effort, you know. You can swing this in there to Cavani now. Go on, Edison. Oh, that's beautiful. That's 2-0. Cavani nodding in. And I said it when he scored his first one, really. It's just exactly what you want from him. It's a great finish for the first goal. He's also got the aerial threat to his game as well. And that's exactly what he's shown there. Nodding in. Great ball over to Dembele. Decent little cross. And he makes it 2-0. That should be game set a match. Oh, come on, Cavani. Can he get a hat-trick? He's in. Finesse that. Oh, he does. It's 3-0. Cavani gets a hat-trick. Perfect debut from him. And like I said, this team feels pretty solid. Looking forward to taking this into the weekend league. Hopefully, it can perform well. It's another lovely bit of a bit of play from uh, Usman and Dembele. Nice bit of dribbling in the middle of the park. Threads the needle. Cavani's in one-on-one. -on -one. All the time in the world. I actually thought he screwed it up because he took like a stretched, uh, stre stretched shot there. But puts it away. And it's a hat-trick on the debut. Go on. Cavani, tight angle, oh my god, what a finish, 4-0 Cavani, I tell you what, one game, four goals, and all different types of goals as well, man, there was the header, there was a scrappy finish, there was a tidy finish where you'd expect him to score, that one there is an absolutely outrageous finish, that one, oh, I think the camera just stood there, I was talking, I did forgive that, I'm just going to get it back on now, but um, yeah, I was saying that is an absolutely insane finish, never even expected him to put that in from there, it's a sort of low driven area, but... It's very, very tight to the byline. 4-0. And I am impressed. And there it is. The full-time whistle. We come away with a 4-0 win. It probably doesn't reflect really how that game went. This guy that I played just. He's had two or three chances where to stay against him. Had some really good saves. But the difference is that man on the screen there right now. Edison Cavani. Four goals. And he was just, I mean, six shots, four goals. That is an incredible return. And it's all sorts of different goals as well. Like I was saying, just that's a really, really impressive thing for me. But... You can see he does get the man, of ma the, the man of the match. A 10 out of 10 on your debut is not a bad way to start things off. We're picking up a solid 469 coins. And you can see from the stats, this guy, I'm sure we had more than three shots. It felt like he had more than three. We've had nine. Five on target and four goals is not a bad return whatsoever. But like I say, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. I was going to play a couple of games, but I think we're going to keep it at one. That's been a bit of a bonus episode almost, because I'm only going to do the uh, the Foot Champions rewards here. But I hope you all did enjoy it. Let me know what you got in your rewards this weekend. I always ask you that. Let me know how you've got on. Let me know what you think of the team that we put together here. And I will speak to you all in the next video, which... Uh, the next video might even be the draft, because we've got that draft token as well. It might be the draft on, uh, on this account, so I'll have to wait and see. But either way, I'll catch you all in the next video, lads. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Nidge out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe.